guys and welcome back to my channel it feels so good to say that again i have not made a video in a very long time and i didn't really intend to take a year off of youtube it just sort of happened but i'm really really excited to be back and i thought what better time to come back to youtube than October because you guys know I love October so much. I love fall. I love everything to do with the autumn vibes, spooky vibes, cozy vibes. And so I am obviously doing Vlogtober this year and I'm going to be uploading once a week and we're just gonna hang out and have a great time and um, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to Barnes & Noble and we're going to do a little bit of book shopping because there are quite a few new releases that I have my eye on. I feel like there have been so many like fall releases recently and I just can't say no because there's just so many good books coming out right now. So let's go to Barnes & Noble just like old times and see what we can find. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make Okay guys, I am back from Barnes & Noble and I ended up getting three beautiful hardcover books. And the first one is An Academy for Liars by Alexis Henderson. I don't really know anything about this book. The only thing I do know is that this is a dark academia novel. And there's something about dark academia that is just so perfect for this time of year. The next book I got is The 13th Child by Erin A. Craig. And I read House of Salt and Sorrows by her over the summer. And I also read House of Roots and Ruin. And those books altered my brain chemistry. Like those books got me into the gothic fantasy genre and I am obsessed. Those books honestly just like started a chain reaction like after I read those, then I read uh, One Dark Window and Belladonna and all those books in that genre. So I'm a huge fan of Erin A. Craig. <laughs> so this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. So stunning. And I don't really know anything about this one either. <laughs> I kind of like going into books blindly and I think this is also gothic fantasy. Yes. And then the last book I got is Percy Jackson and The Wrath of the Triple Goddess. This is the seventh book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. And yeah, I heard from Hallie. I'll link Hallie's channel down below, but she said that this gives like Evermore vibes, Harry Potter vibes. So I'm really, really excited for this one. And this is also a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. And also with this book, they gave me a free little tote bag. It says Camp Half Blood. And I thought that was so sweet. I love when Barnes & Noble gives like little goodies with the books. And this was also perfect because it is raining outside and this protected my books from the rain. So I think I'm gonna read this one first. And then this one in the middle because I feel like middle grade is a really good like palette cleanser. And then we'll save this one for last.
little reading update. I read three chapters last night, so I'm 26 pages in, which honestly is not very far into it, but <laughs> I will say a lot has happened in the first three chapters and it just like starts off in a way that just really hooks you in it follows the story of a girl named lennon and right in the beginning lennon is looking into a mirror and she sees her reflection obviously but then she also sees something else in the mirror that is not actually there or is it? I don't know. I feel like this book is already making me question reality and I don't know what's real. I don't know if it's just in her head or if there's some sort of magic going on, but it's really intriguing and it's also very spooky. And basically within the first three chapters, Lennon's life is just at an all-time low and she ends up getting this mysterious phone call from a college called... I forget what it's called, Drayton College. And so she goes to this place where she does like an interview for the college and she meets this guy named Benedict and she ends up passing the interview and this is right where I left off. I'm happy to say you've passed the interview and may now proceed to the final step of your admissions process, the entry exam. Take the elevator in the foyer up to the eighth floor. But this is a two-story house. I'm well aware. Lennon stared at him blankly. Benedict stared back. You'd better be on your way, he said. Drayton waits for no one. So I thought that was really interesting how he was like, go up to the eighth floor when it's only a two-story house. <laughs> so I am feeling the magical elements to the story. So that's very cool. But I don't know, something really has me questioning if any of this is actually happening. Like, is this all in her head? I don't know. Like, it's already driving me crazy, but in a good way. I love, I love when books have that like psychological thriller feel to it. I don't even know if that's what's happening, but that's that's how I'm feeling as the reader. And then also I have been listening to an audiobook and it's kind of nice to switch back and forth. I am the type of reader that reads like multiple books at once. And I like that I am listening to a Percy Jackson book on the side of this because I have a feeling this is going to be really dark. So it's nice to read something kind of lighthearted on the side. So I am currently listening to Percy Jackson and The Chalice of the Gods. And this is the book that comes right before the book that I bought yesterday. So I need to finish this one before I start this one. And I'm currently 41% through. So it's a quick little read. I have like four hours left of the audiobook and I'm really enjoying it. And Thank you to Percy Jackson for getting me out of my reading slump. I forgot how funny Percy Jackson is. So if you've never read Percy Jackson, I highly recommend. Anyway, now we are gonna go to Barnes & Noble and get a pumpkin cream cold brew because it is Vlogtober and I feel like we need some sort of pumpkin beverage. And we are going to continue our read of an Academy for Liars. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies make to gray, we're gonna be okay. Calm your soul. Hold my hand. Bye. <laughs> this is Dolly. Hi, baby. Hi, pretty girl. Say hi to everyone. Oh, you're so sweet. So I'm now on page 89. I'm 11 chapters in. And okay, so I... Hmm, where do I begin? I don't know where this book is going. All I know is that I feel very uneasy. And the whole concept of this school that Lennon is at is very questionable. And I don't, I don't trust what's going on. I would leave the school personally. Something's gonna happen and it's not gonna be good. That, that's 
that's what I'm thinking. And there is a quote that I think sums up my experience reading this so far. And it says, Taking it in, Lennon felt as though she were walking through the trappings of a dream that wasn't hers. It was an odd feeling to have such a loose grasp on one's own reality. Her thoughts seemed entirely scattered, a fistful of sand tossed to the wind. So I really haven't done any reading since the last time I talked to you guys, and I think the only thing that's going to motivate me to actually sit down and read is playing a Harry Potter film in the background. I've seen the films so many times that those are like the only films that I can put on in the background and not be distracted by. So I am gonna go with The Chamber of Secrets. And I actually saw a description for this book that I thought was so perfect and it has like a Harry Potter-esque description. I saw this on my friend Elizabeth's bookstagram page. I'll link her page down below. But she said, this book is set in a gothic version of Hogwarts in the moss-covered south instead of Britain, with young Tom Riddle as the headmaster. And instead of transfiguration, it's persuasion. I just thought that was the perfect description for this book. So we're going to put Harry Potter on and hopefully I can get through this book. I'm not even like halfway. Yeesh. So I did officially complete an Academy for Liars and I am really struggling to rate this book. I am kind of in between a 3.75 and a 4. And I think I'm going to go with a 4 just because I had a really good time and it definitely delivered all of the dark academia vibes and the horror vibes. But the reason why I'm so conflicted on the rating is because I just didn't connect to the characters like I wanted to and that could have been somewhat intentional because I know with like dark academia books horror books like you're not always supposed to like the characters but I do wish there would have been just more development of the characters and I just wanted to feel closer to them because if I had cared about them more then I would have been more engaged in the story but regardless I still had a really good time and it is definitely very dark so just be mindful if you're gonna pick this book up because there are darker themes but definitely really good for autumn and the beginning really hooked me in I felt like the middle was a little bit slow but then the last 100 pages was like so fast. Also, all of the characters are so morally gray. And I felt like every single time Lennon would start to question what they were doing at the school, she would be like, hey, is this like morally okay? Everyone would be like, eh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a good time. Definitely spooky, definitely haunted vibes. And then I did finish the audiobook of Percy Jackson and The Chalice of the Gods, and I gave this five stars. This was so cute and wholesome, and it was honestly a really nice way to end my reading week because after reading something so dark, I just needed something that just felt like a warm hug and I think my feelings towards Percy is very similar to my feelings towards Harry Potter because you really get to see Percy grow up and you see him as a 12 year old in the first book and then now with the book I just read he's a high school senior and he's getting ready for college and you just really see him become this remarkable young man and I feel so deeply for him and he's so precious, he's so precious. And this plot was so good and so funny. I was literally laughing out loud. It's a five star, it's a five star for me. And I also really loved how the first sentence in this book was like full circle with the first sentence in like the first, that, 
the way I'm wording this is so confusing. <laughs> okay, the first sentence in this book is like full circle with the first sentence in the first book of the series. Does that make sense? Basically, the first sentence in this book is, look, I didn't want to be a high school senior. And then the first sentence in the very first book is, look, I didn't want to be a half-blood. And I was like, oh, this is so nostalgic. I, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. So I'm very, very excited to read the next book in the series. I'm gonna save this and this for the next reading vlog because I don't want this vlog to be like <laughs> a really, really long vlog unless that's something you want to see from me, let me know. But um, yeah, I feel like this vlog would be very, very long if we continued on with this. Plus, I do need to finish editing for this and I need to get this up on October 1st. So, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's been a lot of fun reading with you guys. I really, really miss this. And um, thank you so much to everyone who has stuck around and um, thank you to everyone who is new here. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.